Okay, today's rehab exercise is overhead eccentric abduction. Now what this is going to help you with is to try and improve your overhead mechanics. A lot of time we're talking about shoulder blade going forward and getting that projection ability, the scapular human rhythm going backwards, but once you've got that sas here that you're working on protracting and retracting correctly with your arm movement, you need to start then going overhead to get that stable shoulder position. So a lot of the time people end up raising their arm and increasing their upper trap too much, so their shoulder mechanics a little bit out, so they raise their arm, they come up and they, they, they elevate too early. And this is a very common problem where you've had pain, or you've had impingement, where you come up into a pain flark and you catch that impingement, and to get your arm up, you need to sort of try and elevate. We're gonna try and teach you to try and control that shoulder blade in the first part of the movement, because the first part of the movement, we only want about zero to 30 degrees of movement before the actual shoulder blade rises. So zero to 30 degrees, even up to 45, the shoulder blade needs to stay still, and then we're gonna elevate on like a two to one ratio as we go up above the head. So it's important that when you're recovering from impingement or you've got weakness through that rotator cuff, to try and assist you, we use a band. So this is a really good idea for people who are struggling with impingement and struggling with getting their arm overhead before they go into things like shoulder pressing and getting their hands pressing overhead. So I like to use a band like this. Now this is just a medium pair of band, but what it does, it helps me assist the movement. So and remember, starting with this exercise, I've really got to have pain-free movement, but if my control is not so good, that's what I'm using this band for. So what you do is you start up in full flexion abduction, so you start in this position, and the band just needs to be attached to something. It could be over a door um, or a frame, it doesn't matter. But when you're in this position, you need to start the shoulder elevation, and when you come down, the trick is making sure you Pull your shoulder weight down as you pull your hand down. So those two things have got to go together. So hand down and shoulder down, not hand down and shoulder up. You'll see that quite a bit with people who are not good at pulling their shoulder down, maybe they haven't got good lower traps, is they elevate when they pull down. So what I want you to working on is pulling down the shoulder blade and the hand. So as the hand gets to about 90 degrees, my shoulder weight is fully down, and you know when it the band comes, starts coming across your face, that's when your shoulder blade needs to be down. And then what I try and do is think about squeezing my armpit. So squeezing the muscles in my armpit as I come down to neutral, to zero position. And then what I've got to try and do, this is the trick, is hold my shoulder blade down while I then resist the band. So I'm doing resisted adduction, so eccentric adduction on the way up. When that band crosses my face, I'm just about that point where I need to start raising my shoulder blade up. So I can't leave my shoulder blade down, otherwise I'll get impingement. I've got to then elevate it, but I've got to elevate it at the same time. So I've got to elevate that shoulder, let the band take my hand up. So when I get to the top, I'm in full elevation. So I'm working my rotator cuff to actually come up, but I'm getting assistance. So there's not a massive demand on my abductors like my super spinae. It's not a massive demand. And if that's weak or I've got a tendinopathy, this is a great exercise to get my arm above my head with some assistance so I don't have to lift it. And then working on the pulling down and working on my adductors to try and pull that ball down in the socket, pull it snug into the socket as I go down. Because if it stays up, if that ball, if that ball stays up in the socket, I'm going to get impingement as I come down. That's where people go, oh, oh, as they come down, is that ball is riding up. If I can work on my adductors to pull the ball down and snug it in, as I rotate my arm down, I'm not going to catch it, I'm going to clear that impingement. But it's very important that shoulder blade has to move the right time. We talked about how it's got to come up. If my shoulder blade stays down, I raise my arm, I'm going to catch it. So therefore, my shoulder blade has got to move so I can get full abduction and then when I come down I've got to get that shoulder blade down. I can't leave it up and let my joint do that. I've got to pull my joint down. That's why I talk about really trying to squeeze the adductors and like squeezing your armpit. Get it down. Get your shoulder blade down. So when I'm about that position my shoulder blade's fully down and then I simply go down with my arm. Okay so it's really really important that you get those mechanics correct. And it's an excellent exercise to try and improve your abduction, scapular humeral rhythm control, and then try and work on the adductors, that's why we call the adduction exercise, to try and actually 
squeeze down and pull down to keep that ball in the socket. Because there's so much emphasis put on pushing, pulling and pressing, we forget about what the muscles are doing underneath to try and pull down your little adductors to control that movement up and down.